Part 1. Introduction and a Fateful Bargain In a kingdom steeped in magic and wonder, where the air was fragrant with the scent of blooming gardens, and the people lived in harmony with the mystical forces that surrounded them, there reigned King Leo and Queen Isabella. Their love for each other was legendary, and the kingdom's prosperity reflected their joy. The people of the kingdom rejoiced when the news spread that Queen Isabella was with child. The impending arrival of the royal heir was a source of great anticipation and excitement. But as the months passed, a shadow of concern fell upon the kingdom. Queen Isabella grew gravely ill, and no cure from the royal physicians could alleviate her suffering. In whispered conversations and hushed tones, it was rumored that there was a cure, but it came at a steep price. Morgana, a mysterious enchantress who dwelled deep within the enchanted forest, was said to possess the power to heal even the gravest of illnesses. Her magic was both a blessing and a curse, for Morgana demanded a price that most were unwilling to pay. Desperation gnawed at King Leo's heart as he watched his beloved queen wither away. He knew that Morgana's help was their only hope, and so he made a fateful decision. He rode into the enchanted forest, guided by ancient stories and flickering fireflies, until he reached Morgana's hidden domain. Morgana, draped in robes as dark as the midnight sky, appeared before him her eyes shimmering like emeralds in the dim light. You seek my help, King Leo, she said in a voice that sent shivers down his spine. King Leo, his voice quivering with concern, pleaded, I beg of you, Morgana, cure my queen. I will give you anything you ask for, anything at all. Morgana, her lips curling into a sly smile, gazed into King Leo's eyes. Very well, King Leo. I shall cure your queen, but in return, you must promise me your firstborn child, a child of royal blood. King Leo hesitated, torn between his love for Queen Isabella and the promise of an heir. But the desperate need to save his queen pushed him to agree. I promise, Morgana. I shall give you our firstborn child." With a wave of her hand, Morgana conjured a vial of glowing liquid and handed it to King Leo. Give this to your queen, and she shall be healed. But remember, our bargain is sealed, and there is no turning back. King Leo returned to the castle with the magical elixir and administered it to Queen Isabella. As if by a miracle, her strength returned, and her life was saved. The kingdom rejoiced, but heavy darkness settled in the hearts of the king and queen as they pondered the price they had agreed to pay. Months passed, and in due time, Queen Isabella gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. They named her Rapunzel, and she was blessed with golden hair that shone like the sun. Yet. The shadow of their fateful bargain still loomed over the kingdom, casting a pall over the joyous occasion. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, the whispers of Morgana's impending arrival to claim her prize spread throughout the kingdom. King Leo and Queen Isabella kept the truth hidden from Rapunzel, but the weight of their secret bore heavily on their hearts. The kingdom awaited Morgana's arrival with bated breath, knowing that her powers were far-reaching and her demands would be fulfilled. Little did they know that their beloved Rapunzel was destined for a life far more extraordinary and enchanting than anyone could have imagined. Please subscribe for Going Forward, and your subscription is my inspiration. If you are not a kid, please don't dislike.